The whole issue of what to do with patients who have high on-treatment platelet reactivity continues to baffle all of us caring for patients after PCI. Now in Jack is a report on the Trigger PCI study. This trial studied just such patients and evaluated the efficacy, safety, and antiplatelet effect of Prasugril as compared with Clopidogrel, but practically it gets to whether Prasugril can correct high on-treatment platelet reactivity and improve clinical outcomes in patients undergoing elective PCI. Here is what they did. They took patients with high on-treatment platelet reactivity after PCI and randomized them together with Prasugril or Clopidogrel. Platelet reactivity of the patients on the study drug was reassessed at three and six months. Now, importantly, the study was stopped prematurely for futility because of a lower than expected incidence of cardiac death or MI. But what the researchers found was that in patients assigned to Prasugril, platelet reactivity was decreased dramatically compared to those who continued on Clopidogrel with a minimal cost of slightly increased bleeding. So what does this trial teach us? Switching from clopidogrel to prasugrel in patients with high on-treatment platelet reactivity results in effective platelet inhibition, no question. However, given the low rate of adverse ischemic events after PCI with contemporary drug-eluting stents in stable coronary disease, the clinical utility of this strategy could not be demonstrated. It is yet another example where the science seems sound, but we do not see a change in clinical events. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.